Well, we've had Sharknado, Arachnoquake, Lava Lantula, as well as the sequel, with the greatest title ever, Two Lava, Two Lantula, and now we have Tsunami. It's a tsunami of bees. Only the name is fairly misleading. We get an earthquake of bees, a swarm of bees, and even, not surprisingly, zombies. But we never get an actual tsunami of bees. Kind of disappointing, really. This is not The Asylum. This is another company that's like The Asylum, only with an even smaller budget. The movie's about a bunch of people trying to survive the, uh, not the apocalypse, the b apocalypse. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Anyway, there's a cop, some gangsters, and some rednecks, and they all run into each other and decide to join forces. The bees have been stinging everyone to death as part of some plague sent down by God. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a religious angle in a killer bee movie. The survivors find a farmhouse where they hide away from the bees and do a lot of arguing. They come to a point where they have to escape the house, but of course the bees made a hive in the barn where the car is. So they go from one place with bees to another place with bees. This is all I could think about the whole movie. Ah! The situation has been only made worse with the addition of yet more bees! Oh, it's Dr. Bees, it's all his fault! This is bad, but it's the funny kind of bad, although I can't tell if that's what they were going for. The movie at times seems to be taking itself way too seriously for the subject matter. There's this whole subplot about how the cops saw her mother die when she was a child, and it gets kind of dark, which makes the movie all the more ludicrous. There's a few other things, but we're finding out all this really dark past of the characters in a movie with bad CGI bees. The people do incredibly stupid things, too. We're being chased by a swarm of thousands of bees! Let's stop and shoot at them! Also, there's a part later on where the cop gives this guy a speech about how they need to stick together. Then the next sentence is, we have to separate. I'm not even kidding. It was like this. It is very important. We have to stick together. If we stick together, we'll survive. Okay, now we have to separate. I'm going to go into the barn. You, I'm like, what? You, you just said. The acting is what you'd expect from a movie of this caliber. Not particularly good. The bee effects are mostly bad CG, but there were a few practicals like the hives, which I wasn't expecting. If you thought the fly effects in Infested were bad, they're Jurassic Park levels of CG compared to this. It's that bad. Oh, and it's been addressed. They call it a tsunami, but there's wasps in this. So really, it's a bunch of bees and wasps and I guess whatever else they had clip art of. The movie throws in a few goofy things like bee vision, the aforementioned zombies, humans that have been stung and become zombie-like, and a twist ending that I wasn't expecting that had me howling with laughter. It's so bad. Tsunami is exactly what you think it is. A bunch of bad actors running away from a laughably bad batch of CG bees. What I wasn't expecting was that in order to fight the bees, you needed crosses and faith. Unless I misunderstood something, that's what I took all this nonsense for. If you enjoy good, entertaining movies, you'll want to avoid this at all costs, but you probably already knew that. However, if you enjoy this sort of thing, there are those of you out there. Gather some friends and prepare to laugh your ass off. There is an audience for these movies. Need I remind you that Sharknado 5 is coming soon?